Throwing to start here is Tua. That's complete to Mostert out of the backfield. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. To his throw, caught by his receiver, Hill. It'll be a gain of five, and that will bring up third and one. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. A pickup of five that time and a first down. Faced with their first third down conversion opportunity and able to punch it through and pick it up on the ground. And to me, doing it on the ground sends a different type of a message than throwing the football. And, you know, let's face it, we've done a lot of games together. How often have we seen third down turn into an automatic passing down no matter what the yard is? Yeah, and last thing you want, that opening drive to go three and out. You got everything scripted, lined up. Let's get some points on the board. And they're able to avoid that three and out. Here's a toss play right to Mostert. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. Got a man, it's Waddle complete. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 24-yard line. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4 of 4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game. Like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master Surgeon at work. Two are going to tap this forward on the jet sweep. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Second and five now. Tua. And he's going to hook up with his big tight end. Complete. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. Another completion right there. And again, Charles, good time in the pocket. That offensive line on this opening drive, been really solid. They've been more than solid. They've really tamped down the pass rush and kept him safe in the pocket, able to look around, find his target, and deliver. He's got to make sure he tells that offensive line in the huddle. Thanks, fellas. Let's keep it going. And the Dolphins are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Here's Mostert. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm them, I'm thinking about going at it four straight times. Again, it's Mostert. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Dolphins have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo. And that caps off now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. 
And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Jalen Phillips, the former first rounder, getting in there for the sack. Well, the very first thing they told us, Charles, was we need to apply pressure early. And I would call that early pressure a nice sack to start the game. <laughs> and on the other sideline, I just have this image in my mind of the head coach on the headset with the offensive coordinator asking him if that's exactly what he saw in his mind when he called that play. And if so, is it going to be like this all day? That's a tough one right there. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Allen and Knox teaming up there for Buffalo first down. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And he used the proper word there, dependable, and sometimes spectacular, because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially across the middle of the field where there's traffic. He delivers, and they pick up nice yardage. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. The yeah, oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. And that is caught. It's Davis. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A very solid gain of 27. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the football. That's a big time play right there. It's a gain of 34. What are you doing? After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Singletary is in. Touchdown, Bills. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play and actually battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Off of play action, Tonga Bailoa. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Mike Kosicki, and it's third and five. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. Two are going to throw. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes you just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. 
And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second down, here's Mostert again. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Now Tua. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. It's a gain of 35. Well, partner, that's how you make a long drive suddenly not so long anymore. One big play, and they're already in field goal range with designs on getting more than that. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. A run with Mostert up the middle. Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. Here's Tua. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete. Certainly one they'd like to have back as it breaks up fourth down. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. The kick by Sanders is good, and the Dolphins have taken the lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points. Former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. From the 27th, Allen finding Knox there, complete. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Play action. Now it's Allen. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent gain. To throw again on second down. Allen, Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Here's Allen to throw it. 
This one caught by Davis. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10. Allen now looks to throw. Right back to Davis. It's complete. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. to throw once more. Touchdown, Bills! Gabriel Davis from three yards out. And the Bills will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. CD for them, this has just been a box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one. So now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it and try and win this ball game. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. This guy's proven himself to be one of the best in the NFL. He brings an added dimension to their offense with his ability to read defenses and know when he's able to pull it down and take off and go. On first down, Allen. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. But well, this has certainly turned into a showcase game for what he can do on the ground because they're just continuing to give him chances to run it, and he's earning every additional carry by putting up positive yardage on each run. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And this time, not quite to the 30. He'll be down at the 31-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork. And they add a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Allen. It's complete to Diggs. Touchdown! Stephon Diggs, 31 yards, as his guys are able to extend their lead. Brandon, what we just saw there were two guys who were in sync. The person delivering the ball, but especially the person does at least a little bit because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Now they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Ran a perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and they passed him off to each defender ended up making a nice play even though it was complete flush to his right and he will slide to a stop he does have the first down it's a gain of eight and it'll wind up moving the chains 
He's been patient this entire game, waiting for the perfect moment to surprise him with a quarterback keeper. There he catches him off guard and converts his first rush of the game into a first down. Gotta love that efficiency. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10. There goes a deep ball in zone. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. So obviously, they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter and get some right back in this football game. And I think we can safely call that a statement drive because they had to be saying, we have put our best foot forward in the first half, but we certainly mean business now. Maybe a better term, a prove-it drive. They proved it to themselves that they were ready to go. Dancing to his left. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes the ways? Because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Second and two. On play action, Allen. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. And he finds his man. That's Sweeney. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First time they've looked his way in this game. He comes through picking up the first. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations. But a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And meanwhile, Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Pass delivered successfully to Knox on the out route. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 32-yard line. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. They'll run on first down with Singletary, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. From the 30 on second down, Allen. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's Allen on first and ten. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back in the 24. A loss of three on the sack made by multiple defenders. We've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away for pretty good yardage. At that time, they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. And 
we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. To the air, Allen. And the throw there going to be incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit. A lot of people making plays behind him in the field. The kick by Bass is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what the Dolphins now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. Going to the air, tug of Iloa, caught by Wilson. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. And that's a much-needed first down right there. Look, they're down by eight. So logic says they don't have to get a touchdown out of this drive. But the way things are going, I don't know if I'd put it in the hands of my defense here. You might not get the ball back at all. So if a fourth down situation comes up, I'm thinking hard about going for it right here and right now. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission. All in sync. And the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. That's going to be caught by Waddle. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 29-yard line. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. They run out of the shotgun with Mostert. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Back to throw here. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. But right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. Tua looking to throw on third and two. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. They'll try it now with Mostert. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. Fourth and two in the NFL, not ordinarily a running down anymore. Usually that ball's moved through the air. They went ahead and gave it to the back, and he ends up picking up the first down. I'm not sure if they fooled him as much as they just did a nice job executing. Needed two, and they got three. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the offense will get this one back. Boy, that could have been catastrophic at this late stage of the game, but they avoid disaster. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Here's Tua. His throw incomplete. I guess you can't be afraid to take those chances late in the game. He tried to fit that one in there. Nice job, though, defensively. But to your point, it was a nice job of knocking the ball away. But you're also right. You can't be afraid to take those chances. That means 
your guys going downfield to catch the ball. They've got to elevate their game and come down with these in order to keep your offense moving. Two and a throw. They'll roll him out right. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. They're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal. Well, I guess at the very least, they got the tackle from keeping him out of the end zone. Yeah, you're looking for that silver lining, aren't you? But guess what? Everything changes now after that big play. They've got a chance to strike. Now Tua. The quick slant caught. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. Counting down toward a minute to go in this football game. Tua. And this will be caught. Touchdown. So in the final minute here, now a two-point conversion will tie the game. So they got the touchdown they needed to cut this to two, but now they've got to get back to the huddle. No celebration time. Can't figure out what they're going to do on the two-point conversion. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Tonga Vailoa. And he's got it here for the two points, but there is a marker down, so we'll have to see what that's about. Okay, so the personal foul penalty... And those are some important. talk about leverage at the line of scrimmage, right? Who's going to win with the low blocking and everything that goes along with that? But in this case, you're trying as a defender to leverage them towards the middle of the field, not let them get to the sidelines and try and tackle them in bounds in order to run the clock out. Chess match here late. Brandon, it's okay what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. Counting down at 30 seconds remaining. Allen. And he'll get him a first down up past the 40 as the clock ticks on. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Allen. And Diggs has it. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Go from the 36 now, first and 10. They run the counter with Cook. And he's got some space here. And a hard working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. Had the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. And now they're going to get the timeout. A huge play has been field goal foot of their kicker. Two seconds on the clock, this for the win. And it is good! He splits the uprights on the chip shot, and the Bills are going to get out of here winners. So no shortage of offense in this game, but a very clean game too, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? You talk about the highest level for both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, and both of them aggressively pushing it downfield. 